it was COC at CBGB's when they still had the singer from, they were doing Eye for an Eye, and I believe Leeway was the opening band that day. I, I didn't see the Bad Brains till they reunited, you know, uh, the, the Rock Hotel shows. So any one of those, those the, the, the video that's out from them in, in was it 82 at CB's at Christmas time? I love that because I see Jimmy and all those guys. I'm like, wow. I'm going to have to say the, the first time I saw AF. 85. I, I had long hair. We were at CB's uh, and it was packed. And we walked in and we knew it was, you know, AF, they were coming home from their victim in pain tour, I believe. And I walked in and to me, it looked like the whole club had just shaved their head because everybody looked like it. I didn't see anybody else with long hair. And I remember s standing up towards the front, but on the side. And, I'm, and this guy says, Oh, you like AF? I go, yeah, because I had long hair and I had a motorhead jacket. And we were talking about it. He goes, yeah, well, good. Have a good time. He walks up. It's Vinny Stigma. That's, and that is what sold me on hardcore right then and there. You know, I used to go to shows at the Garden. You see Sabbath, but you couldn't touch them. And then the, the guitarist talked to me and then got up and played an amazing set. If I'm going with front men, I give you the ones I love. Everything Paul Barra says in between songs, everything Anthony Cominale says, but the king, you gotta give it to Jimmy. And when I first got to Harvard, yeah, you know, I was a skinny, scrawny little kid, and it made me feel, I could feel tough with all these guys. And then I saw Murphy's Law, and they were frightening, but funny as hell. They were, they were what, we would always say this, that they're the real punk. I mean, back, back when punk exploded and all those bands, we would always say like, why do people like that band? Why don't they like Murphy's Law? You know, it was just. I gotta go with CB's, because I mean, I liked uh, Coney Island High, I liked the Wetlands too, but CB's was, you know, that was our home, you know? I gotta go with uh, Gingy, Gingy from uh, Absolution. The guy was just, he was thin, but he was solid, and it was like, the guy could bend his body in a thousand different ways, man. <laughs> he was one of those guys that could, you know like when people run, they jump at the, everybody around the pit? That guy would jump and he'd be on top of the crowd. <laughs> Wisdom in Chains, of course. Um, there's a bunch from Europe. Oh, with the guys from California, what the hell is their name? They sound like Suicidal and Slayer mixed, and I can't think of their name. What the hell's name? I'll think of it later. Mm. I'll let you know, I'll call you. <laughs> Top three hardcore drummers. Oh, 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 all right. In no particular order. I'm going uh, Mackie, and uh, what the hell's his name? I'm gonna go with uh, Mackie and Petey Hines. And uh, I give it to Armand. He's a machine. <whistles> Igor from Sepultura, when, that, when Igor lived in San Diego, every time we played there, he would stand behind Armand. At the end of the set, he would just look at me and go, the machine. <laughs> you know, he loved him. <laughs> no. Hardcore. It, you know when people say stuff like, this is dead, it's dead to them or to mainstream media. That's when it's dead. You know, and it's funny. A lot of guys I know who say hardcore dead, what, you know, like, I'll run into people on the street and I'll be like, hey, how you doing? There's somebody I haven't seen from a long time from the scene. And they'll be like, hey, how you doing? What's going on? Uh, you still playing that stuff yet? And then, you know what? A year later, I'll see him at the Black and Blue Bowl hanging out. So it's not dead, you know? I understand, like, people have families. Some people can't, you know, they got to, you know, things to, business to take care of, whatever. But, you know, I don't go to every show I go to some that I can, whenever I can, you know? Just love what you do. That's what we always say, you know? You gotta love what you do.